Catfish's favorite performance of the episode, and don't hate it on it, is Michael Trainer or Trainor. I don't know how you pronounce it, but he played Nicholas. And oh, okay, whoa, 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 don't stop the video. The guy, all right, when you hate somebody on, on TV just because, oh, this motherfucker got going killed, maybe, question mark. That's a good performance. He's almost like a fucking villain. Uh, when, when somebody can just like get under your skin like that, Michael Trainer, you are awesome as Nicholas, and and I, you will be a very uh, uh, everybody will remember Nicholas from The Walking Dead. My favorite scene of the episode had to be um, when when Nicholas Heath, Michonne, Glenn, Scott, David, Annie come down that street with that over, overhead shot Michael Slovis set up, and it was just, we're in the Walking Dead universe. This is the first time we've been, been to like a, just a street that was more than just like a couple lines of dialogue. You know, this was like the main street of a town and the production design team did an amazing job taking us right into that, that universe. You know, they had cars everywhere, all sorts of trash and shit. Everywhere. All the stores looked like they had, they had been there for so long. Um, I just love that scene. It was just right there with the walking dead i was so into it during that moment just when they came around and kind of all started walking under like it's probably a crane shot you know you see david's bite on his back and everything it's just this this main street of a town fucking awesome I, I don't think it was um all right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna get serious on the catfish corner my favorite line of dialogue this episode And I don't want to cry because I think I think he, he got out of that zombie of the episode was obviously the machete zombie that Rick came across on when he was sprinting like Forrest Gump back to Alexandria. So even though he's going to an RV, I have to call it Alexandria. Uh, he comes across a zombie, they're eating on some kind of red shirt. So he pulls out his pocket knife, stabs one, and like breaks, fucks up his hand. Comes across this guy, he's got like a machete stick in him, like rips that motherfucker out. The guy's like face is like all hanging off to the side and shit. It's amazing. And Rick just does his thing, you know, Rick's fucking invincible. It's no problem at all. Uh, favorite special effect of the episode, I mean it was too hard to choose from. You know me being the zombie fan I am. All of the zombie gore, all of the bites, all of the, the, the piles of zombies on, on top of a person ripping them apart. I mean we had David. Uh, up against the fence, we had um, uh, Annie who's laying on the ground. We had that cut to Sturgis who was already dead, but there was a, uh, I believe I actually counted 15 uh, zombies in the frame walking towards the corpse anyway. Um, then of course, how many can you count with uh, uh, Nicholas and, and Glenn? But there were there there are too many special effects to count. All the zombies, love them all. It was it, it was awesome, awesome job by the the effects team. My favorite line of the episode was uh it was uh, a Glenn Reed line over the radio that said uh good luck dumbass and the meaning of that line you have to go back to the first episode of the walking dead ever the premiere episode where at the conclusion of the episode a frantic Rick Grimes is in a tank surrounded by about as many zombies as there were in this episode and he hears on the radio hey dumbass so that's the first thing that Glenn tells Rick Grimes and could it also be the last thing uh, Glenn says to Rick Grimes is, hey, dumbass, or good luck, dumbass, uh, similar to Andrea with, hey, I know how the safety works. I, I mean, I hope he's not dead, but uh, uh, we'll see. Definitely a favorite line of the episode, just because it brought me back to the whole history of the show. Hey, thanks for watching another Great Beard Gaming video. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, keep it tuned here to Graybeard Gaming for everything that matters. Woo!
Oh, 